Greetings again everyone, welcome back to my channel. Here we have another algebraic exponential equation that we're going to solve. So we have 2 to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 32 and we are given to find the value of x. Now you might want to save this video for a future reference so you can smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. You can also check out my playlist on how to solve other algebraic exponential equations. You may also feel free to pause this video at any time to see if you can solve this problem. But for now, we are going to go into our solutions. So our equation states that 2 to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 32. Now as we begin to solve x, we'll put both expressions in brackets. And from here, we'll take x and we'll bring it over to this side where we have this x and this 32 will come over to where we have the 2. We do this by powering our exponents on both sides by 1 over 32 times x. So we'll have that here on the left and we do the same on the right. This therefore means that x to the power of 32, the 32 will be cancelled out. And over the left hand side, the x will cancel the x in the power. Now that therefore gives us 2 to the power of 1 over 32 is equal to x to the power of 1 over x and hence bringing the x on one side of the equation. So how do we solve x from here? Now looking at both expressions, we have 2 to the power of 1 over 32 is equal to x to the power of 1 over x, where x is the base and the power is 1 over x. We need to make this expression look just like what we have on the right, where 2 which is the base is also the denominator of the exponent. So we do this by finding an equivalent fraction for the exponent by multiplying both top and bottom by 2. And so we have 2 to the power of 2 times 1 is 2 and 2 times 32 is 64 so we have 2 over 64. We have that equal to x to the power of 1 over x. Now from here where we have 2 to the power of 2 over 64 where our numerator which is 2 is our power. So this means that we have 2 to the power of 2, then we can put that in brackets, powered by 1 over 64. And that's equal to x to the power of 1 over x. So from here we have 2 squared, which 2 squared gives us 4. So that 4 to the power of 1 over 64 is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. We continue this approach until our base, which is 4, is the same as the denominator of the exponent, as in x to the power of 1 over x. So we multiply our fraction again in the exponent by 2. So from here we can say 4 squared, and we put that in brackets, powered by 1 over, we know that 64 times 2 gives us 128, and again we have that equal to x to the power of 1 over x. So we have 4 squared and 4 squared gives us 16 and so we have 16 to the power of 1 over 128 is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. And if we look again we see our base is 16 and the denominator of the exponent is 128 so we still need to continue the same approach until they are the same and therefore having our solution for x. So in doing this from here we would have 16 to the power of 2 in brackets powered by 1 over 128 times 2 gives us 256 and that's equal to x to the power of 1 over x and again from here we say 16 squared 16 squared gives us 256 and this is being powered by 1 over 256 and this as we said before is equal to x to the power of 1 over x so if we look closely here we see the base is 256 and the denominator in the exponent is also 256 just like x and the power of 1 over x. Therefore, it is safe to conclude that the value of x is that x is equal to 256. If you like more content like this, you can smash that like button, share and subscribe for more. And until then, we'll see you soon. Thank you.